Chapter 20 Another burst of heat made me leap to my feet. I took a deep breath. I saw the startled look on Miss Rush's face. Will you obey? Emmy demanded. Will you steal the laptop? No, I said. Never. I won't steal. An explosion of heat sent pain shooting up down my leg. I raised my hands above my head, and I opened my mouth in a high, shrill scream. Some kids cried out in surprise. Others started to laugh. I glimpsed Eli in the second row. His eyebrows were flying high above his glasses again. Jack? Miss Rush stepped away from her desk and started down the aisle toward me. I felt my face burning, and knew I was blushing. I dropped back into my seat. Kids were talking and laughing. Everyone stared at me. What happened? Miss Rush asked, studying me. What was that about? Of course, I couldn't tell her the truth. I swallowed hard. Then I said, A bee! The teacher squaring at me. A bee? It stung me, I said. Kids laughed. Someone made a buzzing sound. Zzzz. That made the kids laugh harder. Miss Rush frowned. It must have been a very big bee to make it jump up and scream like that. I nodded. Yes, very big. She patted my shoulder. Are you allergic to the bee stings, Jack? You need to see the nurse? I don't think so, I replied. Then let's get back to the science worksheet, she said. She turned and headed back for her desk. Some kids were still staring at me. My leg burned a little. I took the phone out of my pocket and placed it on the desk where it couldn't hurt me. That was good, Jack. Emmy's whisper floated from the phone. Please, leave me alone, I begged. Too loud. Kids turned around. What did you say, Jack? Miss Rush called from the front of the room. I was talking to the bee, I said. Sorry. Let's all get serious now, she said. Let's take a look at the section three on the worksheet. I spread the sheet on my desk. I struggled to focus on it. I tried to shut Emmy and the phone out of my mind. Okay, Jack. I shuddered as Emmy's voice rose up from the phone. Will you steal the laptop from me? No. I leaned over my desk and whispered into the phone. No way, I said. Don't ask again. I'd like to help you, but I won't steal. I heard her sigh. You're making this hard. I have to teach you to obey. Quick. Stand on your head. Do it. Stand on your head.